David, a 21 years old boy who lived in Beijing, and Sophia, a teenage girl living in Shanghai, both of them favor our app. We use the table to record user visit. Lights represent type of user, and rows represent date. David saw a movie on October 5th. On the next day, Sophia went to anime. We recorded three visit in the table. Records were accumulated in our table from January to December. Year after year, records grow in a similar pattern. So we represent user visits as a data cube, consisting of three dimensions, which are type of users, days, and years. Obviously, it's a tensor. One day, we decided to sell guaranteed delivered advertising. Advertiser name a targeting criteria. Publishers sell user visits with guarantee in advance. Here are some advertiser. An e-commercial company wanted women in Shanghai to watch their shops ads in future 30 days, while a car renting company aimed at men in Beijing. How shall we accurately estimate the number of users under different targeting criteria? Challenge 1. High dimension. Consider user types are described by three attributes. 500 area, 20 channels, and 4 platforms make the number of their combination quite large. Another challenge is the potential correlation between different attribute combinations. Look at the table. As the summer vacation comes, the number of people who like cartoons dramatically rising in Beijing and Shanghai, while the outlet declines. Challenge 3. Temporal properties. Look at this one-year time series of one attribute combination. It's subject to a trend of years, seasonality of months, and repeated patterns of weight. Using tensor factorization, we obtain three latent variables, attribute dependent, date dependent, and year dependent. A spatial model is designed to generate the left metric, while a temporal model covers time-related tensor. Spatial model. In this component, attribute combinations are encoded into attention embedding by group attention and deep cross layer. Next is temporal model. We combine CN, RN, and DNN layers into one unified network. It captures information about the multi-dimension time series at different scales and produces the temporal latent vector. We feed not only data of several weeks before, but also that of the same period in the past few years. We compare the result with that of different forecasting methods. Our model achieves the highest accuracy. Thank you for watching.